It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to be adding scientific notation. Here's our question today. The area of Europe is about 9.938 multiplied by 10 to the 6th square kilometers, and the area of North America is about 2.4256 multiplied by 10 to the 7th square kilometers. We are asked, what is the approximate total area in square kilometers of Europe and North America combined? And we're given four answer choices. So here's where you pause the video, you solve the problem, and then come back to see my solution. Good luck. Welcome back. So to review, we are going to find the approximate total area of Europe and North America combined. They use the word approximate because when we were given the scientific notation numbers, it said about. Both of these measurements in square kilometers say about. That's why they're saying approximate. We know that these are both in scientific notation because we have a factor multiplied by a power of 10 and the factor has a, the ones digit is less than 10 and greater than one, okay? Or greater than or equal to one. So when we go to add, we're gonna put them together to combine them, we're gonna add. So let's bring down our two values and we're going to add them together. Right now I'm looking at these and I cannot combine these by adding because their powers are different. They do not have the same exponent. So just as you're combining algebraic terms, they must have the same variable with the same exponent. The same is true for powers of 10. In order to add these values, their exponents would need to be the same. So I need to either convert the first one to have a power of 10 to the seventh or convert the second one to have a power of 10 to the sixth. So I'm just gonna pick 10 to the sixth and I'm gonna increase that exponent by one. So when I increase that six to be a seven so that they are the same, when I increase the power of 10 by one, I need to decrease this by dividing by 10 or moving the decimal point one space. So every time you increase this exponent one, you're decreasing this by one decimal digit. So let's rewrite that. We're gonna move the decimal to the left one and increase the exponent. So now we're gonna have 0 0.9938 multiplied by 10 to the seventh. So this value gets smaller by one decimal place and the exponent increased by one in the power. So now that the powers are the same, we can go ahead and add. So we're gonna just bring down that power that stays the same and we're gonna add the factors. Eight plus six is 14, so bring down the four, carry the one. One plus three is four, plus five is nine. 9 plus 2 is 11, so bring down the 1 and carry a 1. 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 4 is 14, so here's our 4 and bring the 1 up. 1 plus 0 is 1, plus 2 is 3, and don't forget to bring down your decimal point. So I have 3.4194 multiplied by 10 to the 7th is the combined approximate total area, and we can see that that is answer choice B. So there you have it. That is how we add in scientific notation, making sure that our powers have the same exponents before we add our factors. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you have a great day and come back soon.